Now we're back to our bright yellow again. I'm still going to go over this spot with a little bit of white when it's all said and done. Alright, I'm going to leave it right there for right now. Um, I'm going to go back in, pull all this off here, and start detailing this out to start over. I'm going to do the eye first, then I'm going to pull everything off and start detailing it out around it. Because I don't want to get it too defined around here. I want this to kind of be loose, basically, like this. And then I'll tie my colors back into it. Start out with the bright yellow. We're not going to get way up here in the top because if you look at the eagle's eye, it's not like this. Start out with our bright yellow first. All right, we're going to switch up to the black. Start getting the center part of the eye. Right, I'm going to use the mustard yellow just a little bit. Now I've unmasked everything and I'm just going to take my black and I'm just going to start shadowing around the edges a little bit. Notice I'm staying back a ways from it. I'll go back in in a little bit and I'll define it like this right here. But I just want to get a shadow going first. I'm actually going to use my bigger airbrush here to shadow in a little bit more. We'll create his eyelid here in a little bit. I'm just shadowing everything together right now.
But again, my already looks pissed off. Now I'm just going to dust a, a little bit of black over here because we're going to go back in with our white here in a little bit. We'll sharpen up the beacon a little bit. I'm just putting a dust, a, a dust coat of black around it because I want my white to start popping out. Stand back, take a look at it, and see what we're going to start adding. Sorry about the lighting in here, but again, I'm not in my shop at it. I'm at somebody else's shop, so we can uh, we can do with what we got here. Turn my air pressure down. I'm using about 30 um, psi right now, and it's about a 200% mixture on my black. Mm -hmm. 